How are you doing? Are we excited to go? All right, we're going to learn about public health in a minute, but I just found a lone wandering individual out in the halls here. This is Brandon Wood. Look at this young man. Here is a living witness to that story. He was, I forgot you were in the 321 class. And did I not announce we're going to yeah, start this yeah. thing to help Central America? Hurricane Mitch. And so you signed up for January 99 in that little course, How to Change the World, with Jen and Todd and all those guys, right? That's correct, yeah. Okay. Yes. So what did you do as part of that experience in, from January through April of 99? We came together and basically Warner instigated it, but he kind of let the students run with it. Yep. We, you know, we created committees, as I remember. We had a fundraising committee. We had a uh, PR committee. PR committee. A language committee. So we created all these different or, uh, committees. Uh, I think I worked with the um, fundraising committee. And uh, that particular year, we were planning to do a lot of microcredit, microfinance small loans for poor entrepreneurs, that type of thing. And Did uh, I say that yesterday? And we created 47 village banks with about 800 women, about 800 jobs, benefiting 4,000 something family members. Okay, I'm just, uh, you know, every time I give these stories, people say, that's not possible. You couldn't do that at BYU. You don't have students like that. How could you organize things? How could you raise $116,000? Is that what we raised that summer? I think we did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a now, I want you to tell them, because I told two people yesterday about this guy and how he raised his money. And I know some of you, how many of you are still raising money for your, okay, so this is, this guy is a walking miracle of how to fundraise. And I'm not kidding. You're thinking we scripted this, we planned it for years, all that. He just showed up in the hall as I was coming <laughs> through the door. Tell them how you raised your money and how much you raised. We it. put together a letter, basically, a fundraising letter. Um, we talked about everything that had happened from Hurricane Mitch, um, the damage that had occurred in Honduras, and then we ta I talked specifically about microcredit, which is what kind of the big thing that we were going to do, and we explained how it worked in this letter. And then I uh, just literally went around from door but to you door in my ward. It. So it personalized it. That's right. Uh, and then just went around from door to door and dropped it off and told people what I was doing that summer and said, you know, go ahead and take a look at the letter. And I told them I would contact them in about a week. And uh, I followed up with people. And how and much we, did you get by walking door to door in your ward with your letter asking them to help? Probably you? got uh, between seven and $8,000. So Okay, people, did you hear that? Seven to $8,000 which other kids in the design and the project teams and the class said that you'll we can't do that it'll never work when he came back with his eight eight or nine, seven or eight thousand dollars i think it was eight something people were blown away and everybody went out and raised their money in a week and he was so generous i think it cost about three thousand to go because we were in cheap days the early days and all that and so he gave other than his three thousand he gave the five thousand to two other people who lived other places and weren't members of the church or didn't have a community to draw from, and they got their money that way. So I just want you to know that 11 years, 12 years from now, you're going to be coming back to our training session, and you're going to be telling your story of Fiji or Uganda or whatever. Right. So I just right. wanted you to get a feel for somebody who was one of the pioneers, one of the founders of Help International, who I haven't seen for a long time, and what a great kid he is and, and all the good he's doing. He's now saying, I've, I've got my law degree, I've got money. How can I do more with it? What can, how can I get reinvolved? We may be needing you on the board or a committee or something like that. But this is, this is your future, okay? This is a great man. He, he does a wonderful, Thanks, man. A wonderful work in the world. So.